So in this example, an object experiences the force of 3.8 newtons to the right and 8.2 newtons down. And we want to know the direction of that resultant force. This is really important often when it comes to looking at vector quantities. So the first thing I'm going to do is just do a very simple, quick uh, diagram so I can actually visualize what's going on. So I've done this uh, 3.8 centimeters for my 3.8 newtons. I'm gonna go down by 8.2 centimeters. Now this doesn't have to be precise, but I think if you do a scale-ish kind of drawing, it just means that you can visualize what the final answer is going to be. I'm then going to label things, so 3.8 newtons to the right and 8.2 newtons going down. And it's this angle here, theta, that we want to find out. How do we do that? Well, I'm just gonna label what I know from this triangle. Well, it's the right angle triangle, the longest side of the hypotenuse, this side is the adjacent, and this side is the opposite. Now for this, our theta value is our unknown, but we know the adjacent and the opposite. And I remember from looking at Sokotoa, that the one we're going to use if we know the adjacent and the opposite side is tan. So we can say that tan theta is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent. And we want to find out theta, so I'm going to rearrange this to say that theta is inverse tan, so tan to the minus one of opposite over adjacent. So theta is going to be inverse tan of 8.2 divided by 3.8. I don't think anybody knows that in their head. So 8.2 divided by 3.8 is 2.15. Again, checking the calculators in decimal mode, I'm going to do inverse tan of my previous answer, which then gives the value of theta equal to 65 degrees, just to two significant figures. Is that right? Well, let's just have a quick check using my um, protractor here. So if I just line this up, if that's zero, this should be about 65, bang on. So um, here we go, that's just a little bit more of an advanced uh, application of using trigonometry to work out the problem to a vector addition sum, which could come up uh, in GCSE physics.